Radio. When three mediocre games are jammed into a single package, the result is still mediocre. That's unfortunate, because Aliens vs. Predator is a game you'll want to love. It comes from the developer of the beloved first game in the AVP series, and like that game, it features three distinct campaigns featuring three somewhat differing styles of play. But the sight of the Predator as he rips the spine out of his human victims is a short-lived joy compared to the general clumsiness that invades almost every aspect of developer Rebellion's newest addition to the franchise. Aliens vs. Predator's campaigns just aren't much fun. And while the multiplayer is somewhat better, it's unlikely to be your go-to online shooter. Aside from its storied history, Aliens vs. Predator's main appeal is its three different campaigns, in which you respectively take control of a marine, an alien, and a predator. Each campaign has its strengths and starts well enough. The first two levels of the marine campaign are dark and scary. Playing as the alien, your escape from a lab features some good old-fashioned head chomping, and as the predator, it can be fun to leap around and get in position for a gloriously disgusting kill. But in each campaign, the thrill wears off when you discover that Aliens vs. Predator botches a lot of the basics. The dark thrills of the first marine levels give way to tedium once you enter less interesting jungles and temples. The fun of scuttling about as a xenomorph is lost when the awkward controls suck out all the pleasure. And while the Predator campaign is probably the most fun of the three, poor human AI and inconsistent movement are still noticeable problems. The Alien campaign, on the other hand, is probably the weakest. You're supposed to hold the right trigger to climb onto a wall, but in actuality, there's no consistency to the movement. You'll crawl onto some walls and outcroppings whether or not it's what you want to do, and even the simplest things sometimes mean wrestling with the controls. You'll eventually learn to wield some control, but moving around is never that much fun as the Alien. It's like you're just floating around and you never feel totally in command of what's happening. The movement inconsistencies also invade the Predator campaign, where there's just no rhyme or reason to where you can jump. Sometimes you can leap 20 feet above you, while other times you can't even jump over a tiny fence. Your freedom is cut short when you realize just how many limitations the game puts on you. The brutal and gross close-up kills are easily the best part of Aliens vs. Predator. As the Predator, you can yank a dude's spine right out of him and stroke it. It's wonderfully gross and easily the best part of the single-player portion. The alien gets some similarly awesome moments, so if you're a sucker for creepy violence, you'll get some fun here. The story isn't bad either, and some really good voice acting brings the human characters to life. But the game is just filled with all sorts of small problems so numerous that they make a giant pile. With one exception, the boss fights are lame. The recycled levels work fine when playing as one species, but not as another. Enemies and civilians alike act in really dumb ways, which keeps you from feeling very much like a badass. Everything from the visuals to the controls is sloppy, so nothing feels quite right. The game's online features are better, because there's some pure fun to be had when you mix marines, predators, and aliens together. Things still feel a little awkward, but it's still rewarding to land a kill, whether you're a predator leaping from above, or a marine fending off a xenomorph. Infestation and Predator Hunt are probably the best modes, because they highlight the differences between species, but if you want something more traditional, you can play a deathmatch or a team deathmatch, where the three species face off. Survivor is the usual co-op mode, where you join three buddies and shoot up waves of enemies. This isn't as good as similar modes in other shooters, but it's still creepy and harks back to the cool first levels of the Marine campaign. It's the little things that really drag the game down. The grotesque kills and some entertaining multiplayer moments just don't cut it when there's so many excellent shooters on store shelves. Aliens vs. Predator is sometimes enjoyable, but doesn't feature the attention to detail and the obvious care that go into the best games. The thing it does best is make you wish you were playing the original Aliens vs. Predator.